day trading the financial markets, there's only three things you really need to know. And it's not supply and demand, it's not Fibonacci, it's not ICT, it's not Elliott Wave, it's not anything you've ever been taught. I'm Boris Schlossberg, let's get into it. If you're day trading the financial markets, there's three questions you need to answer in this particular order. When, what, and how. Notice that how is the least important part of the equation because the single most important part about day trading the market is to know when to enter and when to leave it alone. Financial markets are really like a three-act play. You have an opening, you have a middle, which is kind of like an intermission, and then you have the closing. And unless you understand how those three parts interact, you really don't have an edge in the market. You see, markets are basically social constructs like anything else. People gather at a particular time, at a particular place to conduct business. Even if that gathering place is actually virtual, it doesn't matter. All of our social customs pretty much stay the same. That's why to be a successful trader, you need to be a sociologist much more than you need to be an economist. So let's start with the idea of when. Very, very important to understand that the financial markets, especially the equity markets, the US equity markets, are going to have a certain rhythm to the day almost every single day. When they start out, you're going to have a flush of orders up or down in the first 10 to 15 minutes of the day. A lot of times, those flush of orders is usually the false move. The real move in the market generally happens after 10 o'clock New York, when everybody is kind of done with their initial opening of trades, and then we can begin to establish a general trend for the day. That's when the really smart money steps up, looks at the trend, and begins to trade it in the direction that it needs to go. But perhaps the single most handicappable, the single most predictable, the single easiest trade to make in the markets is the end of the day rally. Now this may be shocking to you because a lot of times you'll say to me, why well, the market sells off at the end of the day very often. Sometimes it'll start high and then just sells off right into the close. Why would you wanna be always a buyer on end of the day rally? Many times there isn't even a rally at the end of the day in the market. And you'd be absolutely right. But here's what happens in the markets almost every single day. You basically have two types of dynamics. If there is a rally, then end of the day rally is usually one of the strongest moves up and all you need to do is simply catch that move like a wave, like the way a surfer would catch a wave, and you'd be able to ride it straight to profit. But even if there is a die hard sell off into the final couple of hours of the market, there's always, or at least almost always, some type of a bounce off the bottom. And if you have the tools and you have the skills to be able to time those bounces, you have a very, very high chance of making money even in the greatest declines. I don't think I've ever learned that lesson better than at the beginning of my trading career, which was a very, very long time ago. Many of you have only heard about the 1987 stock market crash, the greatest crash in the history of the stock market when the market went down 22% in one day. And I'm sure all of you think that it was just nothing but slaughter, 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 moves to the downside. But what many of you who were not there do not realize is that day saw the single greatest stock market rally you've ever seen. Because from about 12 o'clock onward till about 2 p.m., there was a 10% bounce off the bottom and stocks totally rebounded. And if you were there for that moment, you actually could have made more money being long than at any time in the market's history. That was a lesson I've never forgotten. The market ultimately, at least the stock market, is a long leaning instrument. And whether there is a bounce or a continuation to the upside, the end of the day is one of the easiest ways to handicap that move. Now the second most important question you want to ask is what? Because some markets have a very defined beginning, middle and an end, and other markets just kind of float around through 24 hours and are much harder to truly predict in terms of timing. So if you're looking at the idea of day trading, what you really, really want to focus on is US stock equity futures. That's where the what really comes together with the when. 
That's when you can see the patterns repeat themselves day in and day out in a highly programmable, highly handicappable manner. So if you're focusing on the instrument after you focus on the time, you've really put yourself in a much better place to be able to have the edge in day trading. Last and very much least to the surprise and consternation of many of you, I'm sure, is the how. Because really, it doesn't much matter. We spend all of our time, all of our energy, every single waking moment of our time trying to figure out that one tiny variable, that one particular instrument, that single indicator that's going to give you the edge. All of it is absolute nonsense. Because honestly, it doesn't matter whether you're using moving average crossovers or some price action fundamentals or some simple indicators like an RSI turn or a stochastics turn. They all do the same thing. You're just simply looking for a change in price action that's going to confirm your basic thesis. Once you got it, that's all you need to be able to successfully enter the market and execute your trades. You need good risk control. You need a generally normal entry, but most importantly, you need to be able to know when to enter the market, with what you want to enter the market, and only as the last part of it, how you want to enter the market. That's the key to really good day trading. And the thing is that really, really gets me angry sometimes when I watch the videos on YouTube is that people spend all their time on convoluted theories of supply, demand, which none of it exists because supply was yesterday and today the demand is completely different. If everybody thought that there was a little wick and a candle five days ago that matters to how the price is going to act today, I have a Brooklyn Bridge to sell you any time of the day. That's not how real markets work. That's not how real prices work. That's certainly not how institutional money trades the market. So focus on these three simple principles and you'll have a much better time day trading the market.